so good morning to everyone today uh, we will take exercise 7 of uh, our sequence and series chapter so in this exercise uh, we are going to see the applications of uh, arithmetic mean geometric mean inequalities and uh, we will uh, find the value of a given function like we will find the uh, maximum or minimum value of a given function uh, with the help of uh, this inequalities right so let's begin with uh, question number one question number one of the exercise number seven right uh, so question is saying just a minute question is saying the minimum value of four raised to power x plus four to the power 2 minus x and x belongs to real number right so we have to find the minimum value of this uh, given function so uh, i am taking it as 4 raised to power x plus 4 uh, raised to power 2 minus x we have to find the minimum value of this right so uh, let's consider two number like this 4 raised to power x and 4 this we can write it as 4 square upon 4 ka power x right so let's consider these two numbers and uh, now we know that the uh, value of a to the power x for x belongings to uh, for x uh, belonging to any real number this function always gives a positive value right uh, like this is our uh, graph of a raised to power x, right? This is our y coordinate. This is our x coordinate. So this a raised to power x always will say positive value for uh, all the real values of x. So uh, these two numbers are positive. So 4 raised to power x and the 4 is square upon 4 uh, raised to power x is always positive, right? So uh, since these two numbers are positive, we can apply the arithmetic mean and geometric mean inequalities which says that arithmetic mean is always greater than or equal to geometric mean so uh, let's apply uh, this inequality on uh, these two numbers so it will be 4 raised to power x plus 4 raised to power 2 minus x this is nothing but uh, 4 raised to power 2 minus x this divided by 2 this must be greater than or equal to 4x into 4 raised to power 2 minus x whole raised to power 1 by 2. Okay. So uh, this will become 4 raised to power x plus 4 raised to power 2 minus x greater than or equal to 2 into this will become 4 raised to power 2. 4 raised to power 2 and whole raised to power uh, 1 by 2 that will be 4 only. So this thing, the minimum, uh, so the minimum value of this 4 raised to power x plus 4 raised to power 2 minus x minimum, we can say the minimum value of this should be 8 because this thing will be always greater than or equal to 8 and we are asked to find the minimum value. So the minimum value of our, uh, for this will be 8. Hope uh, this is clear to all. So option D is correct. Uh, now let's move to the next question, question number two. Now it is saying if theta lies between zero to pi, then the minimum value of sine cube theta plus cosec cube theta plus two is, we have to find the minimum value like uh, of sine cube theta plus cos cube, uh, cosec cube theta plus two when theta lies between 0 to pi. So uh, theta lies between 0 to pi. Okay. <clears throat> and we have to find the minimum value of sine cube theta plus cosec cube theta plus 2. We have to find the minimum value of this. So we can write this as sine cube theta plus 1 upon sine cube theta plus 2 right 
this is a, a function in theta. So we have to find the minimum value of this function. Now, uh, within the interval of 0 to pi, we know that uh, sine cube theta, I mean, uh, sine theta is positive between 0 to pi. Between 0 to pi, sine theta is always for positive, right? So this, uh, this sine cube theta will also be positive. And this 1 by sine cube theta will also be positive. Okay, so uh, let me uh, uh, let me tell you one thing. The value of this sine cube theta plus 1 by sine cube theta, the value of this thing, this uh, will be always greater than or equal to 2. Okay, now how it comes actually, if you consider, uh, let me uh, show you the explanation of this, why this value will be always greater than or equal to 2. So uh, let, let me take uh, two numbers, x and 1 by x, okay, where x is positive. So uh, the value of uh, this x plus 1 by x means arithmetic mean is always greater than or equal to geometric mean. Applying this inequality on these two numbers, x and 1 by x, we can see x plus 1 by x by 2 will be always greater than or equal to x into 1 by x raised to power half. So from here, we can see that the x plus 1 by x will always be greater than or equal to 2 since this x and this x will be cancelled out. So this, if x is a positive number, so the sum of x plus 1 by x will always be greater than or equal to 2. Okay, so applying a similar, uh, same thing here, we can see that the sine cube theta, let's take it as x and this uh, 1 by x, and since uh, x is greater than 0, like x is always positive here, sine cube, sine theta is always positive between 0 to pi, so sine cube theta will always be positive. So we can say that uh, this will be a greater than or equal to 2. So uh, what will be the minimum value of this thing? So the minimum value sine cube theta plus cosec cube theta plus 2. The minimum value of this will be, we will take a minimum value of these two things. That will be equal to 2, 2 plus 2, that will be 4. So the minimum value of the given function will be 4. So hence, uh, uh, option C is correct for this question. So, uh, Let's take the third question. It is saying if A, B, C and D are four real numbers of the same sign, then the value of A by B plus B by C plus C by D plus D by A lies in the interval. Lies in the interval. We have to uh, say in which interval the value of this should lie. Okay, so uh, let me consider four numbers, A by B, B by C, uh, C by D, and D by A. Now it is saying that the A, B, C, D are four real numbers of the same sign. Uh, let's take uh, like uh, A, B, C, D are positive numbers. So anyhow, these four numbers, what I have written here, will be positive. And let's take like uh, uh, A, B, C, D are negative. Then also this ratio, this A by B, B by C, uh, C by D and D, I, uh, D by A will be always positive, right? So we can say these four numbers are uh, greater than zero. So here we can apply the concept of uh, arithmetic mean greater than or equal to geometric mean, right? So applying this inequality on the above four numbers, we will get A by B plus B by C plus C by D plus D by A upon 4, this will be greater than or equal to A by B into B by C into C by D into D by A raised to the power 1 by 4. So here you can see it all gets cancelled. B, B, C, C, D, D. So we are left with a by B 
plus b by c plus c by d plus d by a that should be greater than or equal to 4 1 raised to power 1 by 4 this will be nothing but 1 only so uh, this will be greater than or equal to 4 right so uh, we have to uh, what was asked in the question the value of this lies in the interval so uh, the value of this thing will be lie in the interval 4 to infinity so option d is correct the value of this will lie between 4 to infinity it will be greater than or equal to 4 so option d is correct And now let's take the next question, question number four. It is saying x lies between 0 to pi by 2. Then the minimum value of uh, 2 times sin x plus cos x plus cos x 2x whole cube is. So we have to find the minimum value of this thing. And uh, range of x is given, x lies between 0 to pi by 2. Okay. And we have to find the minimum value of 2 times sin x plus cos x plus cos x 2x whole raised to power 3. We have to find the minimum value of this function. So within uh, an interval of 0 to pi by 2, sin x will be always positive. So, sin x is positive between 0 to pi by 2. Within uh, 0 to pi by 2, cos x will also be positive. Okay. And this cos x 2x, cos x 2x, like uh, when x uh, lies between 0 to pi by 2, so uh, 2x will lie between 0 to pi. So uh, within uh, 0 to pi, this cosec function is also uh, positive. So we have considered these three functions, uh, these three functions, sin x, cos x, and cosec 2x. And they both, uh, sorry, all the three are positive, right? So here also we can apply the concept of arithmetic mean greater than or equal to geometric mean. So applying uh, the inequality, what we will get? We will get sin x plus cos x plus uh, cos x 2x upon 3. This should be greater than or equal to sin x into cos x into cos x 2x. I am writing cos x 2x as 1 upon sin 2x, right? this whole raised to power 1 by 3. So, it will be sin x plus cos x plus cos x 2x. This should be greater than or equal to 3 into this sin x into cos x. And I am uh, writing this sin 2x as 2 sin x cos x whole raised to power 1 by 3. So this sin x, this sin x will be cancelled, cos x, cos x will be cancelled. So it will finally become this thing, uh, let us write it as a. Okay. So this a is greater than or equal to 3 into 1 by, what is this? Uh, 1 by 2 raised to power 1 by 3. Or we can uh, do one thing, like uh, we could have taken the cube on both the sides earlier itself. Okay, not an issue. Let me consider, let me take cube now. So uh, taking cube, taking cube on both sides, it will become greater than or equal to uh, 27 into 1 by 2. Okay. So uh, our question was 2 times a cube, right? 2 times in our function, it is given that 2 times of this thing. Sin x uh, plus cos x plus cos x, uh, cos x plus cos x 2x 
cube. So uh, multiplying by two, we will get two into a cube should be uh, greater than or equal to 27. So our function, the, uh, the minimum value of our required function will be 27, right? So we can write two into is sine x plus cos x plus cos x 2x, cos x 2x whole raised to power uh, three should be greater than or equal to 27. So minimum value will be 27, okay? So option A is correct. <clears throat> now let's take question number five. In this question, it is given a plus b plus c is equal to 3, where a is greater than 0, b is greater than 0, and c is greater than 0. Then the greatest value of a square into b cube into c square is. We have to find the greatest value of a square, b cube, c square. And the given information is a plus b plus c is equal to 3. So uh, this is given in the question a plus b plus c is equal to 3 and uh, all the three numbers this a, b and c are positive. Okay. And we have to find the greatest value of a square b cube c square we have to find the maximum value of this. So uh, let me do one thing. Let me consider number a by 2, a by 2, then uh, b by 3, b by 3, b by 3, and c by 2, and c by 2. Now look, this uh, a, b, c are positive. So anyhow, uh, this value a by 2, b by 3, and c by 2 will be positive. Okay, now the reason behind taking, uh, breaking this A, B, C in these value is like I will be applying the inequality A, M is greater than or equal to G, M on these, uh, how much number? On this uh, seven numbers. So while applying this, I will be having, uh, while writing G, M, we used to uh, take the product of all these numbers. So it will give me A square from here b cube from these three numbers and c square from these uh, these two numbers right so so that's why i have uh, uh, dropped these uh, so i have break these numbers in uh, in this fashion right hope this is uh, clear to everyone so now i am applying this am is greater than or equal to gm on uh, these seven numbers so it will be basically uh, we will add uh, all these seven numbers so after adding, this will become a plus b plus c only. And the value of this a plus b plus c is known to us, right? As uh, in the value of a plus b plus c is given in the question. So this will be a plus b plus c divided upon 7. This should be greater than or equal to geometric mean of all these numbers. So what will be the geometric mean of all these numbers? It will be a square b cube c square divided upon 2 raised to power 4 into 3 raised to power 3, right? And whole raised to power 1 by 7. So, uh, hope it is now clear, like why I have uh, uh, broken these uh, numbers in this fashion. So, here we are getting A plus B plus C, whose value is known to us. And in GM, uh, we are getting a square b cube and c square whose maximum value we have to calculate. So now the putting the value of a plus b plus c here, we will get uh, 3 upon 7. Let's uh, uh, raise it to power 7. So 3 upon 7 whole to the power 7, it will be equal to a square b cube c square upon 2 raised to power 4 into 3 raised to power 3. So it will become 3 raised to power 7 into 2 raised to power 4 into 3 raised to power 3 
divided upon 7 raised to power 7, this value will always be greater than or equal to a square b cube c square. Right? So we can say the maximum value of this thing, the maximum value of this, the maximum value of a square b cube c square maximum will be equal to this thing. So what is there? Uh, 3 raised to power 7 plus 3, 3 raised to power 10 into 2 raised to power 4 whole divided upon 7 raised to power 7. So uh, this will be our answer. 3 raised to power 10 into 2 raised to power 4 by 7 raised to power 7. This is option number B. So hence this will be our correct answer. Now let's move to question number 6. It is saying x plus y plus z is equal to a and the minimum value of a by x plus a by y plus a by z is given as 81 to the power alpha. Then the value of alpha or lambda, lambda, 81 raised to power lambda, then the value of lambda is, we have to find the value of lambda. And given information is x plus y plus z is equal to a, right? And uh, minimum value of a upon x plus a upon y plus a upon z, right? So it is saying the minimum value of this is 81 to the power lambda. So uh, let me take this, uh, let me put the value of A here. Sorry. So uh, we can write it as A by X plus A by Y plus a upon z should be always greater than or equal to 81 raised to power lambda, right? Because the minimum value is 81. So it will uh, 81 raised to power lambda. So either it will be uh, more than 81 to the power lambda or it, it will be equal to 81 raised to power lambda. Now, uh, what I will do, I will put the value of a here. So uh, putting the value of A here, which will be x, x plus y plus z upon x plus x plus y plus z upon y plus x plus y plus z upon z. This should be greater than or equal to 81 to the power lambda. Uh, now we, let me split this. We can write it as 1 plus y upon x plus z upon x plus x upon y plus 1 plus z upon y plus x upon z plus y upon z plus 1. This should be greater than or equal to 81 raised to power lambda. Now, if I consider this y by x as a, right, let me consider this y by x as a. Then uh, what will be our x by y? x by y here. If we consider it as a, it is nothing but it is reciprocal of this. So it will become a by, uh, sorry, 1 by a. And we know the value of a plus 1 by a. This value, this a plus 1 by a, this should be always greater than or equal to 2 when a is positive number. Okay. So uh, similarly, this z by x, let's consider it as b. So this x by z will be also a reciprocal of uh, this uh, z by x. So these two numbers, considering z by x and x by z, this should also, the summation of these two numbers will also be uh, greater than or equal to 2. So we can write it as, we can further write it as uh, this 1 plus 1 plus 1, this 3, Considering these two numbers, we can uh, write it as 2 plus 2 plus this z by y and y upon z 
the minimum value we can write the minimum value of this will be 2 so uh, this will be equal to now uh, we are we are taking the equality sign here right so uh, this i am equating to 81 to the power lambda okay now i am equating because uh, uh, we have taken this uh, 2 uh, here no so this will be the minimum value will be 2 so uh, this 3 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 this 9 is equal to 81 raised to power lambda so what does it mean 9 is equal to 9 raised to power 2 lambda so uh, 2 lambda will be equal to 1 from here we get lambda is equal to 1 by 2 right we are we are talking uh, for the uh, minimum value right the minimum value of this function is 81 raised to power lambda so hence we are uh, able to take this value as this y by x and plus x by y as 2 so from here we are getting the value of lambda as 1 by 2 So option A is correct. Now let's uh, take the next question. Question number seven. It is saying A, B, C are three positive numbers and A, B, C square has the greatest value one by 64. So it's given that A, B, C are positive numbers. Okay. And the greatest value like this a b c square the greatest value of this is 1 by 64. Then we have to find the value of a b and c. Okay. So uh, since these three numbers a b c are positive uh, we can apply uh, arithmetic mean is greater than or equal to geometric mean. So we can write it as a plus b plus c by 3. This should be greater than equal to a, b, c raised to power 1 by 3. But here uh, this given is a, b, c square, not a, b, c, right? So we have to split this a, b, c accordingly, what we have done earlier. So uh, let me split, let me consider. Let me consider numbers as A, B, and I will split this uh, C as C by 2 and C by 2. Why I am splitting? Because uh, while multiplying, it will become A, B into C square. So now I will apply arithmetic mean greater than geometric mean on these four numbers. So it will become A plus B plus c by 4 greater than or equal to a b c square raised to power 1 by 4. Now uh, checking the power 4 on both hand sides we it will be a plus b plus c by 4 raised to power 4. This should be greater than or equal to a b c square. Okay. Now the maximum value of a b c square is 1 by 64. So this a plus b plus c upon 4 whole raised to power 4, right? This will be equal to a b c square means this, a, this equality will hold only when these four numbers what we have considered here. What we have considered here, these four numbers must be equal if we are uh, if this equality uh, holds true, right? If this equality holds true, then these the considered four numbers must be equal to must uh, all the four numbers must be equal. So the for this to hold, we can say a is equal to b is equal to c by two, right? Anyhow, this c by two and c by two will be equal to uh, one another. So uh, a must be equal to b. And that must be equal to C by 2. So uh, let's take it as X. Right. So our A will become 2X 
b will become uh, sorry a will become x b will become b will also be equal to x and c will become 2x okay so uh, we can write it as uh, this uh, no this x plus a b c we have considered it we have equated all these four terms so we are getting a equal to b equal to c by 2 and that is equal to x okay now i will be putting this uh, value maximum value of ab square here so we will get a plus b plus c by 4 whole raised to power 4 is equal to 1 upon 64 right 1 upon 64 the maximum value of ab square is 1 upon 64 so from here we will get a plus b plus c whole raised to power 4 is equal to 4 uh, raised to power 4 upon 64. So it will become 4, right? a plus b plus c whole raised to power 4 will become equal to 4. So uh, now put the value of a, b, c here. So what was the condition for that uh, condition to be true, like that equality to be true, uh, we can say this a plus b plus c x plus x plus 2x that will be 4, 4x raised to power 4 must be equal to 4. Okay, so uh, this will be 4 raised to power 4 whether i am doing something wrong or what let me check once i feel i have done some mits i feel i some done some mistake i think so these four numbers we have considered now we have applied arithmetic mean greater than geometric mean here when the value of abc square is Okay, okay, okay. I have done mistake here actually. This A, B, C squared upon 4 will come. No, these four numbers will uh, get multiplied. So this will be A, B, C square upon 4, right? So here one more 4 will come. So uh, it will become like uh, 64 into 4 here, right? So it will basically become 1 here it will be equal to 1 here, right? So what we can say, we can say this 4x raised to power 4, this is uh, a plus b plus c is 4x, 4x uh, raised to power 4, that must be equal to 1. This must be equal to 1, right? So uh, from here we can say x raised to power 4 will be equal to 1 by uh, 4x raised to power 4 will be equal to 1 by 4 raised to power 4, 4 raised to power 4. Okay, so uh, from here we can say x must be equal to 1 by 4. Okay. x must be equal to 1 by 4. So uh, this a, uh, what was x? This was uh, equal to a. a was nothing but x. We have considered a as x. So uh, the value of a will be 1 by 4 and a and b both are equal. So uh, a is equal to b is equal to 1 by 4 and the value of c will be 2 times of x that is 2 times of 1 by 4. That will be nothing but 1 by 2. Right. So we got the answer as A and B. The value of A and B will be 1 by 4 and the value of C will be 1 by 2. So let me check the option. 1 by 2, 1 by 4, 1 by 4 and 1 by 2. Yes. It's uh, here in the option number C. So uh, this is the correct answer.
So uh, this exercise is done. There were basically uh, seven questions only in this exercise. But uh, we have uh, only applied the concept of arithmetic mean greater than or equal to geometric mean inequalities here. We have uh, not uh, applied any concept of calculus uh, in calculating the maximum and uh, minimum value of a given function. So some good uh, questions based on the inequalities was there in the exercise, which we have covered already. So uh, this is all for today. Uh, we will meet you once again shortly. Till then, uh, Tata, goodbye.